All right, there we go. Uh, what we have in there is just regular charcoal, stainless steel box. Um, I'm only lighting half of it because the rest of it will catch on as the day goes on. It's going to be in there a long time. Here's the smoker here. This is an old uh, ice machine from a restaurant. <coughs> All right, come back when we put the pork on. All right, here we go. It's quarter to eight. Now, what I did with the beans was I brought them to a quick boil, put them in that pan, and we're just going to let them sit. We'll season them later. Uh, there's the pork. There's nothing but salt, pepper, garlic. And um, there's the firebox down there. It's starting to get smoky. I got to add a little bit of wood to it. And that's it. We're just going to close the door and come back many hours later. All right. See ya. Okay, here we are at the two hour mark. And you can see there's barely nothing happening. Two hours, you know. At 200. Um, hold on. There you go. It's, it's a little bit over 200. And like I say, there's barely nothing happening right now. Um, you can see down here, down below, the firebox. I have it uh, covered. There's that that little slit in the back. That's the only part that's open. And what that does is that keeps the temperature way down. If you just put the charcoal in there and let it burn, the temperature would get way too hot. So anyway, that's the two hour mark. Got to go to the store. We'll come back later. See ya. All right, here we are, hour three. The pork is starting to take on a little bit of color. Still got a long way to go. It's, uh, the temperature is a little bit over 200. That's perfect. All right, we're going to add some stuff to the beans. There's the beans right there. I'm going to add molasses, mustard, and ketchup, believe it or not. No salt. Don't add salt to the beans until they're done. All right. All right, here we go. Here's a little bit of mustard. All right there, you can see it ain't that much. Here's some ketchup right there it ain't that much and here's some slow ass molasses you don't believe me they're slow ass molasses look at that label slow ass molasses there you go all right I'm gonna stir this up the reason you don't put any salt in is because it it will break down the skin of the beans you don't want to break down the skin all right, so there you have it. Now in here we have a couple bay leaves as usual, and we also have some thyme, some thyme leaves, uh, and a little bit of garlic, and some black pepper, and that's it. All right, now that's going back in there. These are navy beans, by the way. Okay, that's going back in there, probably six, seven more hours on that. And we're good to go. See ya. Alright, here we are at the six hour mark. The pork is starting to look cooked. The beans. 
Beans are looking good. They feel a little bit hard yet. They have quite a while to go. A couple, three, four more hours. The pork, oh man, that's looking good. Whoops, just dropped the thermometer. I'm gonna turn this over. All right. There we go. All right. Okay, I gotta find the thermometer. We'll be back later. All right, my neighbor's weedy whacking his yard right now. It's kind of loud. So here's what I did. I put the beans down on another shelf down below. The beans got to get a little bit hotter. Uh, and I'm going to turn the pork again. Flip the pork around. The pork is looking really good. As you can see. The beans are doing good but they're kind of slow. So right now, we're just gonna speed them up. I put them on a shelf below. All right? So, they're going back in. Right now, it's 3.30, and I started at about 7.30. So that's seven hours. Uh, wait a minute, that's eight hours. Eight hours. So we probably have about, I don't know, three, four, five more hours to go. I'm going to check the pork with the thermometer the next time I come out. I'll bring the thermometer out next time. Alright. Okay, here we go. See you later. Alright, there you go. I put the bacon on top of the beans right here. Had a little bit of bacon left, so I put it over the pork. That's, you know, it'll just cook and then I'll just take it off, make a sandwich or something tomorrow out of that. And uh, here, that'll be it. So we'll come back in a couple, two, three hours, see what's happening. All right, here we go. It's been in here 11 hours. Uh, I did uh, turn the temperature up a little higher for the last couple hours. The bacon over here is done. This bacon here is not. The water has to evaporate out of this one. Once the water evaporates out of the beans, uh, then the bacon will be able to brown. Um, wait a minute. Uh, I gotta go in and get a thermometer for the pork. I'll be right back. All right, here you go. Here is the beans with the bacon. I have to put this in the oven. It really didn't, uh, never really had a chance to boil. So I'm gonna put this in a hot oven, let it finish, and I'll show you when it comes out. Here's the pork. Here you go, man. Here's the pork roast, uh, nine pound pork shoulder. Here's the bacon that was on top. Look at that, cooked perfect. I already ate one, gave one to the dog. All right, so there you go. I'm going to cut it up and have a plate. stuff is just falling apart. Look at this. Ooh. Check this out. Man, this comes right off the bone. This is where they get pulled pork from. You know, if you're going to pull it, it just separates right off the bone. Just pull it into chunks, make sandwiches, do whatever you want. 
Man, that's nice. This is good stuff right here. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Oh yeah, baby. Put some barbecue sauce on this right here. Get some French bread. And I'm going to eat. Listen, when it comes to smoked pork shoulder, it doesn't get any better than this right here. This is it. See it.